Look, One UI 6 Watch Beta is coming out very shortly. The release of that software is imminent. It could happen any moment, any day from now on. Whilst the excitement is going, and I certainly want to see what else is included apart from AI, there is a few things you really need to know about because that is important before you install the beta version on your Galaxy Watch. Samsung just published a guideline in order for you to understand what you're getting yourself into when you install the software, the beta version of One UI 6 Watch on your Galaxy Watch. It basically says that it is at your own discretion and risk. Okay, so far, so good. But you will be solely responsible for any damage that will result from the use of the beta software, including loss of data. But it doesn't stop here. Samsung will not be liable for any damages of any kind arising out of or relating to participating in the One UI Watch Beta program. What it doesn't say right now, right here, is if your warranty will be void if there's some sort of damage by installing the beta software. So if your watch doesn't come on anymore, it doesn't work the way it is supposed to be. I mean, there's a few options Samsung will reveal later, but what does it mean to your warranty? That is unclear, so you should keep that in mind. In order to participate, you have to go to your Samsung Members app. You will also need a Samsung account. I guess we all have one anyway. Once you log in the Samsung Members app, you go to Notice Registration for One UI Watch Beta Program, and then you submit an application form. And if you meet the participation criteria, you will be enrolled in the One UI Beta Program. However, Samsung has not revealed as of today if there's any other countries or continents involved apart from the US and Korea. Number one, you need to back up your device. That is self-explanatory already in the intro I've given you any loss of data will not be recoverable and you will be responsible for that. In terms of installation you know how to install the software. You go to settings, software update and download and install. If you find some errors or bugs and you want to send some feedback there's an important message here. In order to do that you will have to submit the report within three minutes of encountering the bug or error and do not terminate means basically do not switch wipe away you have the error message and then you have to do or you have to submit the error message within three minutes and the whole process can basically take up to five minutes if you find yourself in a pickle let's say you have installed the beta software and it is not working out because there's a whole bunch that can really go wrong with your watch if that is your main device you really want to rely on that right you can withdraw from your beta software application or version however this you need to know. You have to go into the Samsung Members application in your device and then you will find a button that is called Beta Withdrawal. It can take up to two days for the application for the withdrawal to be processed, which means if your watch is unusable, then it will be unusable for two days, but there's more. Once Samsung says, yes, you can withdraw, which shouldn't be a problem in itself, you have to go, this is important, you have to go to your nearest service center to reinstall the the latest official version of the previous OS version. You will have to take your watch to a service center. Not every country has a service center. I guess the US and Korea has service center. If your service center is not nearby or you live somewhere remote, then you will have to send in your watch or you will have to drive fast. So that is important. If your watch becomes unusable because of the beta version that you have installed and you don't want that anymore, you can withdraw. It will take up to two days, but you have to go and have it reinstalled by the service center. And that is really an important part. Have you seen this? The Galaxy Watch Fan Edition. And this is what it looks like. These images have just leaked. And apparently that's also going to come out. I don't know if it's Galaxy Watch 7 Fan Edition or Galaxy Watch Fan Edition. It is a repackaged version, maybe, of the Galaxy Watch 4. Certainly new and it should be budget friendly in order to get people into their ecosystem. Let me know your thoughts. There's a whole discussion going on online. Let me know. Peace out.